All right, what is up, my boys? Um, today we're gonna be talking about fear and taking bold actions. So I just like to welcome you guys to my video today. It's actually like ten o'clock at night, but um, it don't matter too much. Um, yeah. So I mean, obviously we're talking about everything self improvement in these videos. Um. I want to talk about um, a talk about I believe is actually crucial for personal growth, which is overcoming fears and taking bold actions towards your dreams. So obviously fear is a natural human emotion and it's actually evolutionary based because um, whenever we were, you know, obviously cavemen, when we saw a lion, we'd run because that fear taught us to run from these things. Oops. But obviously, I mean, we're in today's time where, you know, girls obviously aren't lions and that business client obviously isn't a lion, you know. Um, yeah, all that stuff, taking taking action for your responsibilities obviously isn't a lion, but that fear is still inside of us. And so um, it's important to remember that fear is just an emotion and we have power to control it. The first step towards overcoming fear is acknowledging it, identifying identifying what scares you and why it does. Um, it is, is it the fear of rejection or the fear of the unknown? Once you can identify your fears um, by working towards those goals and, you know, facing your fears head on is the best way to overcome it, obviously. The next step is, oh, my chin inches a little bit. But the next step is taking action. This is where you need to be bold in the step um, and step out of your comfort zone. Remember that the greatest things in life often lie on the other side of fear. It takes small and simple steps towards your goal every single day, even if they scare you. This could mean reaching out to potential clients or starting a new project. Wow. Um, it's also important to surround yourself with people who support you and encourage you. Seek out mentors, friends, family members who believe in you. Um, obviously, you don't want to surround yourself with people who are always pushing you down and people who have um, who pe people think less about you because when you're around all that, that they can you know, provide you with the opposite of what you want, like provide you with valuable feedback or provide you with advice or motivation to keep you going. Obviously, you wouldn't be want to be around those people because they're honestly holding you back and you need to watch out for that. Another powerful tool for overcoming fear is visualize. Um, once you can imagine yourself succeeding, achieving your goals, visualize how it feels to step out of the matrix an escape um, for your own path, create your own way. Um, there's obviously a lot of things that go with that. Obviously, you know, you want to bring your boys up with you. Um, you guys need to move in packs. But lastly, to keep in mind, remember that everyone experiences fear and setback. So don't let that fear hold you back or discourage you. Instead, let it be a learning opportunity. I remember I bought a car uh, once when I was just starting off selling and buying and reselling cars. And I actually had the opposite. I had too much confidence in my abilities to gauge how much a job could cost, how much um, the reconditioning would cost. Instead, I actually had the opposite. So I had too much confidence in what I was doing. And I believed that I was going to be making money when in fact I actually lost I believe it was $1,200 on a $3,000 vehicle. And that was, a, that was a really tough moment for me because I were, was really wanting to quit. And I was like, wow, I just wasted 1200 bucks. I could have went to California and back. Um, but basically, in conclusion, overcoming fear and taking bold actions towards your dreams is a process. So... Um, this is this is a marathon, not a sprint, obviously. It takes time and effort, but with the right mindset and support from others, you can conquer your dreams and fears 
and achieve anything you set your mind to. So thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.